Your angel is about to give you some crucial awareness about someone close to you. This is something serious about your sister. She is confused and disoriented in life and requires your help and guidance. You need to be there for your child in the best possible way. Your angel is going to tell you about your sister now so that you can take the necessary steps and help her sort out any problems that may prevail in her life. She is trying very hard to cope with the difficulties that have been eating her alive. She is in the phase of her life that is filled with a lot of confusion, discomfort and emotional turmoil. She is struggling mentally and emotionally to deal with it all. Your sister is filing sorts of words to express what she is feeling as she is an introvert. She is not even sharing it with any one of her friends. She feels very lonely and isolated in her heart. This has given her sleepless nights and nightmares. She has no words to express her problems to you. Your angel is informing you about this to you so that you can go to her and offer your help. You should be her best friend and confident in such a time of need. You need to give her your shoulder to cry upon and listen to everything that she has to say. You need to be patient and tolerant. She desperately craves your support but cannot voice it out to you for an opinion and selfless support to her in every possible way. You should help her deal with any problems or crisis that she is facing in her life. You must be there with her in such dire circumstances and be her guiding light. You should counsel her on getting on the right path and hold her hand while you lead her on to the same. You play an important role in it all and you should be very careful with your choices. Your sister will come out of this difficult time very soon and things will go back to normal. She will be happy and radiant as ever. God says, My precious child, I have shown you the way that you should follow. I have given you the wisdom to choose right from wrong. You know about Samson. I warned him the thing that he should not do, but he ignored my voice. Later you know what had happened to him and how he suffered. Like this video if you love God. Likewise, there were times where you had disobeyed what I have said. There were times where you had sinned even when you knew it was a sin. Later you have realized those were mistakes by seeing where they led you and that time you had complained to me for the consequences of your actions. When Samson repented his sin, he cried out to me and I forgave him and granted his request similarly. When you have confessed your sin and when you sought me for help, I have forgiven you and given you a fresh start. But are you still repeating the same mistakes again? Do not think that. It is fine to do it by thinking you can ask me for your mercy. After doing it, I will forgive you. You do not have to doubt on me, but those mistakes will bring you towards unwanted troubles. So always pray and live a faithful life according to my plan. There are many things in this world which can separate you from me, but your prayer can prevent it. If you desire miracles, watch this video all the way through the end. Listen up, when you have the burning passion, it's natural to want to pursue what you feel as you were calling. You may feel an urgency, a conviction and a sense of purpose. It can be frustrating when you are doing everything you know to do but no doors are opening. No new opportunities are coming your way. You have been faithful, consistent and diligent yet you may feel discouraged, disappointed and alone. 
I want to encourage you to keep believing in yourself and hold on to your dreams and goals. The father says today, embrace your identity in me. When you enter a room, activate the power of your identity in me for your own benefit and breakthrough. As stated in my word, faith works by love. Your faith holds your identity in me, but it is love that activates that identity in every situation you encounter. I go before you to make your path smooth so you can step into each new day as a master of your surroundings. This is what ruling and reigning are all about. You are called to pray for those whose faith you follow. Neglecting to pray for your mentors and fathers in faith is to forsake for your own mercy. The path they walk is the one I am leading you on. You can look at their benefits and anointing and the favor they walk in and see what your future holds. Adjustments must be made to avoid stagnation. I have appointed you for liberty, life and abandonment in my favor this day, says God. Now, this raises an important question, what will you do with this revelation? Your guardian angels have gone out of their way to share this celestial message with you. Could it be a sign that you're stepping into a new, even more impactful chapter of your own journey? And if so, are you ready for it? You've already accomplished so much just by being you, but this could be the universe's way of preparing you for even greater things. If you've listened to this message and felt a resonance know that it's no mere coincidence, the universe doesn't make mistakes. Every step you've taken and every challenge you've faced has led you to become this inspiring figure. Isn't it incredible how life's puzzle pieces fit together to create this amazing picture? Others, too, are poised to be touched by your radiant energy as you continue on your journey. May your guardian angels guide you towards endless opportunities to shine even brighter. Now listen to this prayer as it holds divine blessings and essence. O oh Lord, as I lift my voice to you in prayer, I am awestruck by your majesty and the magnificence of your creation. From the vastness of the cosmos to the intricate beauty of the smallest living beings, your handiwork is evident everywhere I look. I stand in awe of your power and wisdom, and I am humbled by the privilege of being in your presence. Heavenly Father, I am aware of the challenges and adversities that surround us in this world. The enemies of our souls seek to undermine our faith, disrupt our lives, and lead us away from your loving embrace. I implore you, Lord, to shield us from these malevolent forces, to place a hedge of protection around us, and to grant us the strength to stand firm in the face of adversity. Guard our hearts, minds, and spirits against the schemes of the enemy, and let your light dispel all darkness. Father, I long for spiritual progress and growth in my journey with you. As I traverse the path of faith, I yearn for a deeper relationship with you, a greater understanding of your word, and a heart that overflows with love for you and for others. May your Holy Spirit be my constant guide, illuminating the scriptures and revealing the profound truths contained within. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it. Lord, your word tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask you, the generous giver, and it will be given to them. I come before you now, seeking the precious gift of wisdom. In a world filled with noise and confusion, help me to discern your voice amidst the clamor. Grant me the wisdom to make choices that align with your will and that lead me closer to your perfect plan for my life. Heavenly Father, in a world marked by turmoil and unrest, I earnestly seek your peace and serenity. Let your presence be a calming balm to my weary soul and grant me the strength to remain steadfast in my faith. May your peace, 
which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In the midst of life's storms, help me to find solace in your abiding love. Lord, your word assures us that you are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I beseech you for guidance and direction in every aspect of my life. Lead me in the way that is pleasing to you and reveal your divine purpose for my existence. Illuminate the path before me and grant me the courage to follow it, trusting in your unfailing guidance. Father, there are times when life's challenges seem insurmountable and my strength falters. In those moments I turn to you, the source of all strength and endurance. Fill me with your might and let your grace be sufficient for me. Help me to soar on wings like eagles, to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. May I find renewed strength in you each day. Lord, you are the great healer, capable of mending broken hearts, bodies and spirits. I lift up to you those who are in need of your healing touch. Whether the ailment is physical, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your power to bring about restoration and wholeness. May your healing hand be upon those who suffer, bringing comfort, relief, and renewed vitality. Heavenly Father, I am acutely aware of my imperfections and my need for your forgiveness and grace. I come before you with a contrite heart, confessing my sins and shortcomings. I ask for your mercy to wash over me, cleansing me from all unrighteousness. Grant me the ability to extend forgiveness to others as I have received it from you. Lord, you are the provider of all our needs and your storehouses are never empty. I place before you my concerns and needs, trusting in your abundant provision. Whether it is material, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your faithfulness to supply all that is required. May your blessings overflow in my life and in the lives of those I love. Father, I yearn for the fruits of the Spirit to flourish within me, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May these attributes be evident in my interactions with others, reflecting your divine nature and drawing people closer to you. Transform my character, Lord, and make me a vessel of your love. Heavenly Father, your word encourages us to live in unity and harmony with one another. I lift up to you our relationships, both within our families and among our friends and communities. May the bonds of love and fellowship be strengthened, and may your peace reign in our hearts. Let our interactions be marked by grace, compassion, and understanding. Lord, your heart aches for the lost and the broken, and so does mine. I lift up to you those who have not yet experienced the transformative power of your love. May your spirit draw them near, open their hearts to your truth, and bring them into your fold. Use me as an instrument of your love, that I may share your gospel and be a beacon of hope to those in need. Father, in a world that often clamors for more, I pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. Help me to recognize and appreciate the countless blessings that surround me each day. May I find joy in the simple pleasures of life and contentment in your presence, knowing that you are the source of true fulfillment. Lord, I join my prayers with those who seek the peace of Jerusalem, a city that holds immense significance in your divine plan. I pray for the safety and well-being of its inhabitants and for the resolution of conflicts that persist in the region. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, extend to the land where your chosen people dwell. Heavenly Father, I recognize the allure of temptation and the frailty of human nature. 
I beseech you to deliver me from the snares of temptation and to grant me the strength to resist its enticements. Let your word be a lamp to my feet, guiding me.